Everyone, stream is starting. I wanted to do some mapping and some dungeon stuff, so I figured I'd come on stream for it. Come hang out with people. Only a two, tier two so far this league, so nothing crazy. And also, I'm not incredibly strong yet either. <laughs> but that's okay. Thankfully, Elusive is keeping me alive. I don't like these lightning things, though. I guess, well, okay, Elusive and Petrified Blood are keeping me alive to some extent. It being so weak on a tier 2, though. Frustrating. But we'll be stronger soon. Want to level up, and then I'm going to work on the fourth ascension. I just don't want to lose my levels by dying in the lab, which might happen, because I'm still only 70. Well, actually, I'll be 75, so I'll be on par with the lab by the time I go in. Good. I don't know why my character feels so weak. It must be the gem levels or something, because, like, I've checked, I've looked through the build, and, like, it's going to be quite strong in Path of Build, at least Path of Building says it will be, so. I think I just need more levels to get a little bit stronger. That's okay. I have lots of time for this league to grow stronger. Oh yeah, I also don't have my belt yet. I forgot about that. I don't have my belt. Or my amulet, both of which give a lot of damage. And I don't have my anointment yet either. Because I don't have my amulet. I actually don't even have the right boots on, because I'm going to go for the replica Inyas, not uh, the uh, standard Inyas Epiphany. Uh, that's awkward. Okay, got the totem. Totems are a bit awkward to deal with with my character currently. Uh oh no! Nope. Don't want any of that. Not want what you are selling. I actually swapped over my build, which has helped me a lot. Uh, I was playing saboteur before because, silly me, I thought. Playing mines with the mine ascension was going to be the best idea, but no, assassin actually works much better for these, these particular type of mines than saboteur does. So, I'm just going to forbidden flesh and flame to get uh, one of the mine ascension things, and the rest of it I'm all just going to be assassin because it made more sense to go from assassin to um assassin to saboteur rather than saboteur to assassin. With uh, Forbidden Flesh and Flame. Because all the Assassin stuff is expensive. In the long run, if you want to go for one particular node in, in Ascension, if like that's the one most important thing for you, then consider picking a different ascension and then just using Forbidden Flesh and Flame with it, because you can actually get a lot more power doing that. 
of course, like you might need to wait a little while to actually have the money for it, but because eh. like the uh, pyroman pyromancer Py pyromaniac that's what it's called the pyromaniac node that I want from saboteur is uh, a divine per tool. so like it's still gonna take a little bit. Honestly, that's really good pricing as far as Forbidden Flesh and Flames go, but it's still a lot for this early in the league. I don't really have much money right now because I'm spending it to get better. At least between my belt, my amulet, and my... Uh, anointment. I only need 50 chaos, so that's going to help. But I do need to work on my resistance to be able to make that possible because my resistances are really good right now, but they won't be if I take off my current amulet or if I take off my current ring. My amulet I need for attributes, which I still need to work on as well. Once I have attributes and resistances, I can swap a bunch of shit out. Accuracy is pretty good. Because I'm tempted, because I'm supposed to eventually get the gain accuracy rating equal to your intelligence, which will be good, but I don't technically need it right now. I don't think there's anything more powerful that I could pick at the moment. Actually, I'm going to pick Strength, because then I can level up my Petrified Blood, keep that going. I'm just going to have to sacrifice some points or attributes to start with, and then over time, I will replace them. Eh. No boulder. No boulder. No thank you. This boss fight's always really rough, I find. Uh, please, please stop being invulnerable. No. Oh, I guess I still have to kill more minions. Huh. I thought there was only one minion wave, but whatever. Okay. Dealt with. Memorial block's done. Wait, did I not get the bonus? Thought I got the bonus. And now I'm confused. Go boss of magic or higher. I swear that was a rare map. Oh well. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. The Ascension. It's time for the first... First? No. Time for the fourth Ascension, except for it's not, because I need a... I need a, an offering to the goddess. Ah, eh, fluff. I forgot to buy one. Finding an offering. Where are they in the trade site? There they are. Uh oh, wrong way. Three chaos for four offerings. I don't want four offerings. I want one. One. Someone's got to be selling singulars. I'm paying one chaos for one. I don't. Uh, there's not a single one. Oh, there is. Okay, there is one single one. 
in the trade site that I can see right now. Trade site does not go farther than that. I really like if it would show me more results. Darn it. Okay, might have to buy a few. It's unfortunate having to buy in bulk when I don't think I'm going to need them, but... Eh, whatever. I'll be fine. Oh, hey Ron! Nice to see you. I'm just buying some currency so that I can do my fourth ascent. If I can get a response, anyone. We need, need an auction house. This is not a good system. This is not a good. That's not the response I expected. Okay, I'll sell. I have stuff. Seriously though, I've I've messaged like eight people and there's no response. Oh fuck, wrong thing. We need an auction house so badly, and they will never add one because they are vehemently against it. Right thing. Edit. Not know why they're vehemently against it. They keep saying player interaction, but players don't interact. Most of it is just they're just find one that is a bot who's willing to trade with you because it's automatic. Wish I'd done this before. Live, but got okay there we go how many attempts did that take me uh that's or whatever one two three five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve attempts before someone would finally actually respond to me Currency trading is awful in this game. It takes so long to get anyone to respond. Yeah, well, I don't want this many, so I'm going to put those away. Take the one I need. And then go into D&D &D mode. Okay, fourth ascension. Let's do this. We're on par with it, level wise. So we this should be fine. And I have very good single target damage. Just need hope. Works out. Right, so we'll actually probably get like a decent amount of XP from this. Don't get murdered. Ow. Its crown. Good high tier base. Oh, I should bring up the POE lab for this. 
rather than just running around aimlessly. Super lab. Okay, where's he? The dark shrine, the first level. I should probably try to get. This is probably wrong. No, this is the right one. Do I care about the dark shrine? A little bit, because I don't want to get murked by sorrow. It occurs to me probably no one says murked anymore, but like, whatever. I'm old. I'm fine with that. <laughs> So we have found the right direction, we just need to find the Dark Shrine now. Oh, okay, not that way. Should be here? Yes it is. Ah, no. Don't want to be, don't want to be in the doorway which will come down on me? No! No. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, I'm not dying here. I'm not dying for before Izaro again. Already done that. We're not playing that game. Okay. Now I got the chance to set up. Nothing can deal with me if I get the chance to set up. Ooh, massive shrine. Increased life, air effect, and size. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Let's not walk into the spikes. Okay. The main crossing. So this is there's a golden door here. Need to find the exit to this area, but I can go to the golden key area. No dark shrines in this. What is this? It's probably not useful. Oh wow. That's really weird. The Void Sphere can move traps. I did not think that was even possible. Traps. I thought they were, like, stationary. Okay, so here are the doors. Okay, there it is. I see. The key door. Door key. It's the door to the door key. Yeah, gauntlets. I'm not patient enough to wait for them. My only my only weakness, my lack of patience. Ow. Rude. Whatever. I have more. No. Second attempt. Goddess isn't the only one watching. Pretty sure if she tuned on Twitch, because I need the viewership. Okay, let's try this again. Actually, now I know where everything is, so that's kind of nice. Lab won't reset for a while. Yeah, I still have seven hours. No, I'm not dying. Already done that. Already tried that, not fun. I 
Actually, what am I doing? I should not do this strong box. I'm just putting myself in needless danger. Did I go the wrong way? This looks different. This is different. I went the wrong way. This just a dead end? No! Oh. No. Is there two things with electrified? That's really rude. Now just one thing. Okay. Yeah, I might not be strong enough to even do that. Oh, I recognize this area. This is for a labyrinth trip. I don't want that. Not going to be worth the danger. I don't think I've ever had anything like super value coming out, super valuable coming out of a labyrinth tower before. They're always shit. I might get lucky and get one chaos orb or something. Oh, did did it move the dark shrine, or am I making a mistake? I get moved to the dark shrine. Is that even possible? Or maybe that is the dark shrine and I'm just confused. Okay. Not that way. No, it's it's just a silver key. Where the hell is the dark shrine? Yeah, if I if I die badly this time, I'll probably have to do some more leveling first before I can attempt it again. Just so I don't waste the rest of my offering. Well, I've successfully lost the Dark Shrine, so I'm just going to go to the next place. Okay, up. I need to buy some instilling orbs is what I need to do. Automate my flasks so I don't have to worry about those anymore. Lots of crowns. Oh! Okay. Yeah, I'm not strong enough. Oh well. So if I lose this, oh god, I need <laughs> I need those attributes very badly. What did I put my point into last time anyway? Don't Remember. <laughs> oh yeah, I put into strength. That. If I get two more levels, I can take the jewel socket there, and I have a gem I can use for at least cover my dexterity or my strength, depending on whichever one I want. So I can. That and I probably will. One second. Forgot to close the door. My bad. Okay, stagnation. 
and Wasteland. I can handle these. I hope. They're only tier 2s. That shouldn't be bad. I'm actually, like, considering going back to the campaign and leveling. Cause just because of how challenging the maps seem to be right now for me. Cause like I need I need levels more than anything else right now. I need a lot of levels very badly. If I can get a lucky drop from something, then I could probably purchase a leveling service. Which I tend to do because it it just makes sense to pick a leveling service when their builds are set up for doing it and you don't have to go through the suffering of of the uh, going through the hard levels i mean either you can level yourself or you can either you can work on leveling yourself or you can work on getting the money to have someone else level you like you're still progressing it's just in a different way And to be clear, when I'm saying a leveling service, I mean, like, one of the uh, domain of eternal conflict ones. Or just, like, someone has a build that specifically works for leveling characters in the domain of eternal conflict. What has... Oh, it's this thing that has all of the first ores. Actually, I walked past a... Trial altar thingy. I forget what these things are even called. Ritual. Yes, ritual altar. Ritually. Oh, kind of close. Okay, now I got all of that stuffed out with here. Want to make sure there's no other monsters in the area. I got the mark transfers mastery for like from the mark mastery, so I don't have to worry as much about my mark having to constantly mark things which is nice because otherwise i just constantly have to cast it and the cast keeps getting interrupted like ever like often it gets interrupted fortunately the actual range at which it transfers is very low I just realized I got lucky. I got a uh, fourth altar. Eh. Oh, no lightning. Ow. No lightning. No, no. <laughs> no. Bad. Bad lightning bug thing. I got stuck casting! It scared the shit out of me. I really need to get the rest of my my gems and stuff sorted. Because I need a bunch more gems, too. Like, I have how many empty sockets right now? Seven? Seven empty sockets. Yeah, I, I'm feeling frantic, too. <laughs> it's just until I get a bit stronger.
it's hard because I ended up with a character that needs 150 plus in every attribute. Get back here. There we go. And 150 is like a decent amount. Since I since you start with like 30. Oh, hi Clover. Thanks for joining the stream. Love to see you. How are you doing today? Yeah. Yeah, it it is starting to take shape very slowly. Oh my gosh, I need to turn that volume down! <laughs> it scared the shit out of me! <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Clover. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm doing good. Any day that I'm streaming and hanging out with y'all is good. It genuinely brightens my day to stream. It's one of the reasons why I want to make this like a real job, because I like spending time with people. And, like, meeting new people especially. It always makes me happy when I know I can make someone laugh or smile. Even even just in real life, it's just some random stranger. So, it kind of... This kind of works well for my personality to stream. Yeah. Nope. Where are you going? Oh, no. Oh, no, did both of those go into the same rare? Yes, th no, God, there's three of them in there. No. <laughs> no. Ah. Holy shit, that's a fast monkey. I found the danger monkey. Oh, okay. Try this again. This time, I'm going to wipe out Danger Monkey. I just need... I know where he is. He's right over... Okay. But, actually, I'm going to try something... I'm going to try something out right now. Change some, a, a setting. The first time... For the first time, you're actually going to be able to see my cursor. So, over here, he's right here-ish right now. So I'm gonna go over here and attack him. Because if I could, if I can set up, I can kill anything. I just need the chance to set up. Oops! No, nope. don't fire immediately. Oh, why is my duration so short? Fire! <laughs> well, it worked. Just not totally. I'm alive! Again. I really should move my portal. That would probably help me. Yeah, that's because he's triple possessed. There's three there's three mini bosses inside him. The tormented spirits can like possess random creatures if they find a uh, a rare mob that uh is in their range. And three of them dove into that one, and suddenly one gave him a damage boost, one gave him an, a movement speed boost, an attack speed boost, and I don't know what the last one did, but it didn't help. It all sucked. <laughs> Pretty 
for anyone who wasn't here for it, I uh, swapped my ascension. I'm now an assassin instead of a saboteur, because I thought a saboteur, so the mine ascension, would be good with mines. That was a mistake. It's good with most mines, but like spell mines mainly, not attack mines, which is what these are. So it actually barely helps this build at all. So I swapped over to Assassin, which is mostly power charges and critical damage, both of which I scale actively. And also I got Elusive, so like on critical, which is basically constantly. And Elusive gives you a like a high, high chance of avoiding all damage from a hit. Very happy that I can get Elusive off of my mines. Actually, I'm not getting Elusive right now. Interesting. It should be on every crit. Wait a minute. Oh no, it might... Oh no, I just realized something. It might not be giving me elusive on crits from my mines at all. And then on occasion, when I am stunned, I have a cast when stunned gem that will cast two spells. And since my crit chance is so high, those are probably critting and giving me elusive. I'm watching to see what causes elusive here. Yeah, so something just triggered. It gave me elusive. Oh, what, though? I didn't see a skill go off. Oh, hi, Vol. You are not as nice as the small creature with which you're named af after. Mole is like a shrew. Shrew is like a mole. A mole is like a weird rat thing. <laughs> Hopefully you know what one of those things are. I don't I don't actually know how common knowledge are. Moles. Anyways. I don't really have a good concept of what other people's knowledge is, generally. Using sometimes to try to figure out what other people know. No! Oh no. Oh no. Oh, thank you, Elusive. I needed that. No! No, 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 no! No, 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 Wait, can I go over? No, I can't. Die, please. Die, please. Die, please. Die, please. Die, please. Die, please. I don't want to die inside the trial or the ritual, but then I will. Why are there so many golds? <laughs> I don't want to die here because then I'll lose favor. Well, and XP. No! Ugh. Okay. What favor do I... What can I buy with favor? Virtual Splendors, how much are these worth? About 15 to 1 chaos. So, these that's about 2 chaos right there. Prisms are worth... A little bit less than a chaos each. Ooh, mana, mana reservation efficient. Gem. Valuable. Damage with axes, fire damage, and dex. That actually might be decent. Especially considering chief up. No. You're common. Guild crush. Not worth it. 
I'll take this stuff then. Oh, I can do a metamorph too. Weapon. Charge. Oh, I do not want proc shield. Blinds. Okay, I can't be blinded. Wait, no, I can be blinded. But I'm not a saboteur anymore. Not be slowed. Don't think I care. Extra life, that's fine. Elemental Destroy, I'll go with. Ah, no! No, no, no! Bigger mines, bigger mines! That's one of the problems with having your, your trigger on your movement skill. Well, I guess I can just hit D to trigger mines. D for detonate. But I always forget about that because I never use it. Can you die, please? Thank you. How can how considerate of you? Else, okay. and there's nothing left in this map. Ooh, we get the fine. We get the notable for delirium. Nice. Maybe I'll see some delirium mirrors soon. All that goes away. I've completed both these now. Okay, next map. I'll skip the tier twos. Bog. Do bog? Oh, he is obnoxious sometimes. Uh, obligatory meme incoming. I find it. Here, this is only nine seconds. God Slayer! God Slayer! God Slayer! Oh god, what is going on here? Oh god, Slayer! <laughs> New thing to say. No! Okay. That is awful. Is that? I think that's a value. I feel like that might be a valuable scorpion there. Scorpion. Okay, I need... Oh no, there's far too many things there. Okay, cool. Can I keep these few things in the corner and kill those? Teleport. Cast, 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 cast. Wait. That, oh god, that wasn't even the boss. Who's that then? Finally, you're here, Einhar. 
I need you for beast reasons. If only I could cull these guys. I can't. Can't cull beasts. Oh. That was rough. Eh. I think I have enough survivability. I think I just can't kill things fast enough for my survivability to do its job. I'm for an angry roar. Rowers, so many bone rowers. And the other rower. There you are. Oh. Hey! He's possessed. Rude. Yeah. And I never have enough health flask charges. Wait, what am I going? Okay, On's Might and Malgar's Any good rolls? No. Definitely not. Okay. It is very slow leveling dying this much, I gotta say. Losing 10% XP every level is hard. One of the really punishing things about this game is, like, if your build does not keep up, then we're not... we're not leveling. <laughs> It feels very weird to go from being like so uber powerful to this. What is making this? Must be dead. Okay, now I'm actually starting to kill things. Working okay. Oh no. I want to be involved in that. Still feel very slow. I guess anything is slow compared to my 10 power charge or however many power charges I had with in replica Inyas. I'd like 50% movement speed base. Right now I have like 25. Alright, there's a beast over there. Oh. He charged and I miss him. But. Rude. Ow. Rude totem.
Yeah, things that charge are actually really bad for this. Still, for some reason. <laughs> like, anything that is highly mobile, it seems to get away from the mines quickly. Die, beast, die. I don't need you on screen. How am I doing? Oh, yeah, he's almost down. Perfect. I don't know if the petrified blood is ultimately helping me. I hope so. Hard to say, though. Oh, coming Clemente. Nearly a max roll. I thought it really matters. None of those are valuable. Oh well. I do have a blueprint to do at some point. And I do want to work on blueprints and heist stuff, definitely, because I want to level up Huck so that I can get him with me in maps. Because he has some really nice buffs that he just gives you. Wait, I'm done, Bog. New map. Anything I can buy from you, Kurek? Need two. Okay, do I need strand? Yes. There's a there's a site for trading maps. Oh, that's white. There's a site for trading maps that I haven't had a chance to use yet. Just for, like, tra trading one-to-one -one so you're not spending any money on it. Look into that. Let's see. Do we map dot trade? Have on good authority that this is actually, like, a good site. I'll have to uh, look in. Yeah, Von Victon did a video on it. It was another, uh, another Path of Exile creator. Like, lots of good videos. Nice to have a delirium. Maybe I can make some boon of the first ones. That might actually be really funny. I don't know how valuable boon of the first ones is this league, but the loot filter is excited. That's good. Usually a good sign. And div cards can be. Very wide, it can very widely range in price, so there's a good chance that it's actually a valuable one. I mean, like, a single good div card could fund my entire build. So. Or at least, like, multiple build items potentially. Depends. No. Running out of delirium. Keep moving. Before the fog catches up with me. Oh no. Okay, I can't move too fast or I'm just going to get murdered. So I have to keep that in mind. That I'm not actually all that strong yet. Urgh. Yep, like 
like this, potentially. Aw. No splinter. Actually, I should grab the jewels in case they're viable. They're usually not, though. No. Max speed, accuracy. None of the above. Fusion, my friend. How oh, I've missed you. You have something for me? Actually, hold on a second. Boon of the first one. Oh. It is not worth much money. Like, maybe a chaos. That's sad. It's suggesting three chaos, but everything's listed for one, so I don't know. Now to do something potentially very dangerous. Okay. Explosives. Okay, light fine. Axes are fine. Monster hits can't be evaded, will just straight up kill me. If I cannot hit that. Okay. Away from it. Don't do much fire damage. And I don't want to be critted repeatedly. Oh, ignoring that. Okay. This build is actually surprisingly good against the Expedition's content, because the main like fe feature of the Expedition content is that it uses Ward. And Ward is good at protect at like protecting you from like one attack like every so often, one big attack. But what it doesn't do very well is dealing with a whole ton of small like chip damage attacks. That's exactly what I do. Is lots of chip damage. Which kind of just means that I more or less, more or less, just ignore the ward because the ward will, will more or less will protect them a lot from like one particular attack. But regardless whether it is an attack that deals one damage or five hundred thousand damage, it still protects it the exact same and uses the ward charge. So it doesn't really matter. Um, which means that as long as I just hit them a whole lot. Their ward is kind of useless. Kind of, I can fairly easily invalidate their ward. Plus, expedition has like some very like stupid valuable drops. If I can get any. Eh, oh well. I got some. I got some money to buy stuff with, though. I could use some threat. Take thirty-five. Cool. Promise for it. How much is this worth? Before I buy it. Not enough to even bother with. Okay, when it waits, good. To refresh him, actually. I don't buy anything. I might be able to buy the whetstones. Most I can offer 20. No. Can't afford it. Oh well. Okay, well, the orbs are worth, I think, like one and a half each. And. Scraps are worth nothing, but the div, but the uh, stack decks are worth something. I don't actually know how much they're worth right now. Looking like maybe somewhere between two to five chaos each. So those will sell. A lot of people aren't gambling yet, though. This early in the league, I don't have money to burn.
Ah, it's always nice to have a bit of chill mapping. I'm going to do a short intermission after this map. Five minute one. Oh, level 76. Yay, level 76. That peanut socket. Wait, no, I didn't set up. Why didn't I set up? I should have set up first. Ah! Bad plan. Regrets, regrets are had. Ow. Ow. No. Is that seriously not hitting him? No! Aww. Oh, well, I did just level, so I didn't lose much of anything from that. Also, I did get a pure white shield. Pretty nice. I need to keep that. Oh no, I have a no, I have a six socket white sword. That's actually more than good enough. I don't need the list one and put the stack decks over here. Back to the map. Here. I think I moved fairly far. Is it over here? Oh, no. I found him. <laughs> okay, can I, like, lure you over here? Yep, sounds good. Die now. Color? Why did I change color? Weird. I don't know what it's doing, but it has some sort of ability. I hope that's not elusive. That'll make it very hard for me to hit him. Okay, there we go. Got a wailing essence. I think. Just screaming. Screaming's good. No, nope, it's not. No essences are good. They all suck, and they're never worth any money. Like, two essences in the game that are worth anything. But I do pick them up still, because you can craft things for more or less free if you don't care about your essences. Throw all your essences at it, and if you're looking for like one particular high tier modifier that like is a pain to get otherwise, it can actually be worth it. Like I would essence spam. Um, I'd essence spam on uh, Warlord helmets to get uh, plus one maximum power charges, and it didn't really matter what type of essence it was. I just used the essences. Because they all had the ability to find the maximum power charges, and the maximum power charges was always worth like a divine minimum. That up. Oh. Oh my gosh, these things are tanky.
Apparently I put the mark on the right thing because it is taking so much damage. Stop teleporting. <laughs> My ring can't... <laughs> My thing can't hit you. Yeah. chance for smugglers, cat. I don't think most people know this, but if you take the Huck, uh, the Huck node on the Ascendancy tree, uh, you can give Huck a weapon that gives you an aura of any any aura you want. You can just have a bonus aura that you have most of the time. Very good. Okay, like I said earlier, I'm going to take a five-minute intermission, and then we'll be back. Hey everyone, welcome back. Adjusting the audio. Oh, hey Pyro! Welcome to the stream, and welcome back, Ron. Okay, did I finish Strand? I finished Strand. Old River. Abded by Humanoid. Oh no, my weakness. Well, at least I don't have any XP. Well, that was worth it, at least. How's your league going, Pyro? Started a new character recently, right? Beefcake. Ah, direction. That sounds like you. <laughs> How many characters have you made so far this league? There. I mean, I like mines too. <laughs> I get that. Okay. What builds? I know you were trying with the Eye of Winter, but it sounded like you gave up on that one.
skeletons fun. That reminds me, I want to try playing one of the Burning Totem builds, the new Emberwood support. There's like a whole lot of things that support specifically setting totems on fire. So what are you using? Like, Grinning Fetish, Elemental Army, whatever the thing is that sets things on fire. Oh, I think Grinning Fetish also does that. Oh. The, uh, what was the one? United in Dream. Grinning, or Grinning Fetish and uh, United in Dream might be a good mix. Oh, the Great Helm. Didn't it get changed recently to something? Like, I remember it used to be you gain an armor based on your fire res or something? Or uncapped fire res? Oh, were you going Chieftain? No, that wouldn't make sense. Chieftain doesn't do that sort of stuff. Oh, fair. The new Guardian might work well for that, considering that it does, uh, it has like those elemental sign things. Things that buff elemental damage. Be a good port for it, maybe. Many things with spell damage. I guess I should say range damage. I actually am decent against spell damage because I have spell suppression. Will not stand except for it is. Why is that happening? Does anyone else see the weird bubble? No! No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I have life back! Geller! Commit murder! I wonder if that's because I'm using the DX12 uh, engine stuff. I'm using the DX12 beta. I might be I might do better with a different thing. I don't want to I don't want to risk changing the render and like having my recording freak out or something though, so I'm not going to do that, but I will pro I should probably change that back see if it will. It's like that weird effect in uh, the uh, Einhar Master's Memory video that I put out a while ago. Actually, a couple weeks ago. No, even more than that now, since the, that was in the last league. Like, there's those crazy visual effects. Happy they fixed those in the, pat the latest patch. Oh, I think I'm more or less done this map. Or something. 
No, not really. This is a really good helmet for this league, though, considering. I should actually see if I can get a decent corrupt on it. No, even better, I'm going to put it in here and wait until I can chant it. Seventy stipend eight. Thirty-nine stipend eight, okay. Can I get better than that? Not gonna put quality on it yet. Still too shitty a flask. Armor. Sure, that'll work. Corrupted blood. Have that on a different flask. I can't leave. Curse back to curse. That sounds good. That one's evasion rating. Okay. I'm going to change my life flask at some point. Ooh, onslaught with... There are two movements. That's actually worth something. If I sell it quickly, probably. There. That up for five. And my one. I'll check the rest of this later. Next map. Actually, we'll have a chance. Let me check and see what it would cost me to get build upgrade. Because I need the Oxium belt. And I don't think that one's very expensive. Is it, is it Oxium? No, it's not. Is it? Confusing it with the Scepter. Oh, it is Oxium. I'm just spelling it wrong. Wait. Chain belt or crystal belt? There's two of them? Oh, the chain must be the old belt. Wait, crystal belt? That means I need to be level 79 for it. Okay, so it's only like a chaos. That's nothing. Oh, you can put elemental damage catalysts on to make it really good. Oh, I need to do that. Okay, yeah, so that'll cost basically nothing. The only problem is that I'm currently getting a bunch of distances from this. My fire res would drop below, my lightning res would drop below, and my cold res almost would drop down to min like minimum. I would need to make up like another forty fire and lightning somewhere else. Thirty all res. I could potentially swap this. Like, try resist forty. That would at least give me ten more. That was actually decent. And I could try to find a try resist. For I like the decks on that. And this is going to lose its resistances as well. Because yeah. that's going to be swapped out for Badge of the Brotherhood. Need. Badly. I have eight power charges and three frenzy charges. Having an extra five frenzy charges would be nice. Yeah, I'm going to just need to get like dramatically better gear in like a lot of different spots and best. Be able to change. I think one of my best options will probably be 
But that's so many attribute points that I'm getting from this. Uh it's it's really painful to swap something like this out. I just use one of these for the whole game. <laughs> It might actually be better for me to put on another one of these, come to think of it. Like, I'd lose a little bit of cold and lightning res, but I'd gain a whole shit ton of fire res. And a bunch of more attributes. The problem is that this doesn't have life on it. Like, getting, like, all res and all attributes is pretty fucking good. It's a bit silly considering it's only a level 24 ring, but, I mean, if it works, it works. Currently, I'd, I'd lose 11 lightning resistance to pop this ring out, though. Which I could do. A 9 coal resist. So I'd lose 75 life. Ox. My life is just going to tank if I try to swap this out. Same thing with this. This has got 100 raw life on it. Sure, there is the new Katava chest. And my chest currently is just, like, designated to be anyways. Nope, my boots have maximum life on them. I can't eat... And I need those. Actually, I can swap those for E. For the... Uh... I don't know if the Replica Inus have life on them. Well, anyways, I won't make y'all watch this. Yeah, I have 420 Intelligence. Okay, let's continue to map. Get another couple levels, and then I'll be able to try the lab again, and hopefully win this time. Okay, it should be. Yeah, I don't. Flex shouldn't matter to me if I use my. I love the strength. So evil, it's great. Ah. I'm in danger. Ah. I'm still in danger. Perpetual danger. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Being followed by a lot of things. Oh, I'm so screwed. <laughs> How am I not dead? I'm probably going to die soon, though. I should really give up on the delirium and just try to survive. That's probably more important. Yeah, the delirium gave me a few. Yay. Yeah, sort of nice. No way that there isn't something to hit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 
No blood bombs. I have Beyond Beasts in this map, so get careful of them. Now I can slowly walk back and try to kill everything that I left. On to things here. And walk on the landmines on the only path. Start throwing mines ahead of me, even if I don't know where things are, just because it seems to be saving my life on occasion. Oh my god! Cast Mark! I hate the fact that, like, get interrupted constantly when trying to cast the marks. What is their cast time? It's only a third of a second. It shouldn't be interrupted as many times as it gets interrupted. Starting to find that I just have to like spam the key to cast the cast marks. I don't know why it's so hard for it to I even have faster casting on it, I'm pretty Yep, I do. Not whatever. Boss. Okay, we're past the boss, but like... I'm afraid. I don't want to die. <laughs> Fireball. Okay, I can set up. Yay! I don't know if I if I mentioned this in the last stream because I don't think I found out till later, uh, but you get split as part of Sniper's Mark. Like you were talking about, or uh, sorry, Pyro, you were talking about uh, ow, about me adding like split or chain or some or fork to the build. Like I actually get. Um, Spectral which hit cursed enemies split between four additional targets. Kinda nice. Ah, there. Eh. Or a small boss. No poison, please. Chaos. Not like the other chaos. I gotta say, I don't like Sniper's Mark. I honestly might swap away from it. Like, it is good damage, but, like, it's very hard to get 
to get it to cast it on something. With like with just how many times you have to attempt to cast it, I find. Sometimes it works, but like more often than not it does not seem to actually respond when I want it to. Maybe I'm running out of mana. Maybe that's why it's not casting when I'm trying to. If that's the case, that's my fault. <laughs> no! No! Damn it! Oh. Oh, good luck with your Ventos gamble. Wait, waiting for that last smoke mine to come off cooldown. Painful sometimes. God, I only have 2,700 health. It's really not that good, I gotta say. Gotta do something about that. I need more health. Very badly. Let's finish this map up. I'm actually running out of time today to stream. Might be my last map. Okay. Map done. Another point in the numbers caches. Okay, I'm gonna have to call the stream now. Ugh, I need to go record and or edit to get today's video out. Because I, I try to get my videos out around 5. 5? No, that's not. when I use it. 30? My brain broke for a second. No, it's usually 3.30. 5 was my old time. I, try to, I try to get it out early, so... Yeah. Anyways, yeah. We'll have some good videos coming in the coming week. Uh, And we also have some 7 Days to Die stream. I mean, next week, too. I'm going to continue streaming Path of Exile just whenever I have time. I'm going to try to stream when I do the lab if I can. Either that, I'm going to record it one or, the, one or the other. Whatever ends up working out. Thank you all for coming to my stream today. I really appreciate it. Hope you all uh, have a great day after this. And uh, if you like the stream, please follow it. And if you want to see more videos from me, you can subscribe to me on YouTube. The link is in the chat. And yeah, hope you all have a great day. And let me give you a video to uh, watch. Finish this off. There you go. That's my newest video. It's pretty good. If I don't say so myself. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is going on? <laughs> Have a good night, y'all.